Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for GoEngineer. I've been asked repeatedly over the years by a lot of different users if we could make hollow text. Well, tried all kinds of different ways to no avail. Uh, if you notice here, I've got a uh, solid body with some uh, layout sketches on it, and I've got some text already on here uh, that I put on with the text tool, which is right up here by default on our um, toolbar. Um, and this is going to be solid text here, and then later I'll make hollow text up here at the top. So there is a way. So because the text itself is closed profiles by default, you would think that we could just make this a thin feature to make hollow text. So if I select this um, and I tell this to extrude and make a um, thin feature down here, thin feature, real thin and OK, and it tells me go away, do not come again another day. Sketch text is not supported for thin features. Oh. Okay, so I can make solid text uh, all day long and uh, no problem. Now, this text is on a plane off the surface a little ways for a reason. Now, it's not required for solid text. We could have it down here on the bottom and we could extrude it up any height we want. However, the next thing I'm going to do here to make hollow text is I'm going to use a feature that is not friendly to doing that. It's got to be up above the surface and extruded down to it, and that's the rib tool. Now, I never would have thought using the rib tool, but I was doing a training class recently, and a student says, well, that, that rib tool is pretty useful. Can we use it to make text? And my immediate response was, well, no. And then I got to thinking about it and thought, wait a minute, I've never tried that. So I went and tried this, and lo and behold, when we use the rib tool, now we need to make this pretty thin stuff, um, because what happens here is if we get this um, too thick, this 5 thousandths here, let's make it um, just 30 thousandths, <clears throat> and we'll put it all on one side. What happens is, if we get it too big, the things like the S's fail. They, they don't play right. Okay? So if we go to the inside, you know, okay, fine, but I want it to go to the outside. So 30 thousandths is out. So I need it to be pretty thin. So we'll make it 5 thousandths. And uh, now this will work just fine and make me hollow text. Now, if I just split the difference or put it to the inside, I could make this a lot thicker wall thickness, okay? But this is fine for the moment. Perfect. Now, I've also got, along with the first question about hollow text, was wanting to do two different colors of text. You can do that in a lot of text programs, uh, Photoshop and some other programs, you know, where you can have uh, red outlines and, and yellow uh, fill, things like that. Even in Word, you can do things like that. But here we can't, or we didn't think we could. Now, if I use the same sketch as the rib sketch and just do a regular extrude down to surface, and uncheck merge result. I don't want it to be the same color, so I'll uncheck merge result. Now I've got text and uh, outline that's all the same. Well, let's go to the rib to, uh, feature here, and we'll add color to the rib feature only. Let's make that red. Okay, and we'll go to the interior, and we'll make this one. Come on yellow. Well, it looks like I've got my text and my rib um, overlapping each other, so let me go back to my rib and uh, adjust that. Sometimes you got to uh, play with it and go one way or the other. So let's try the other way here. There we go. I just had it on the wrong side. So now I got a red outline with yellow letters. Wow. A lot of people would really like that. If I want to put, you know, color on my other one, of course, no mystery there. Uh, go to the boss extrude and make it blue. Okay. 
So I've got blue solid text, I've got red hollow text, and I've got a yellow filler, you know. Um, and I could have configurations, of course, where I could suppress the filler text. So I didn't have that if I didn't want. A lot of things you can do here uh, if you're using the, uh, the rib tool. But again, you know, the rib tool, uh, the sketch has to be up above the surface because the rib tool goes all the way down, all the way out by default. Two directions up to next. So because it's closed profiles, it's only going all the way down. If you try to put it on the bottom and extrude it, um, have it go up, it sees infinity, leaks out, and fails. So that doesn't work. So this, this works beautifully. I've got text that's two different colors. Um, I can either have it hollow or I can fill it in um, and uh, have multicolors here. Hope this uh, helps your day along a little bit. This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.